Hi squaddies, how are you doing? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. As usual, my name is Doreen and yeah, it's time for another article. So buckle up and come along for the ride. Um, today we'll be reading one from GB News and the title of the article is Harry and Meghan's popularity ascending as royals unite for glitzy reception oh okay now let, let's see let's see because the last time we checked people are like yo harry and megan are no longer famous people don't want to see them let's see what has changed okay prince harry has been defended by author and commentator nichi hudson after the british headlines were dominated by a new portrait of the royal family the annual reception at Buckingham Palace was hosted by King Charles and Queen Camilla to honor the member of the diplomatic corps. Photos from the event show the king and queen joined by senior royals, Prince William and Princess Kate, impeccably dressed for the glitzy reception. The event's coverage has dominated another British royal event happening in the capital as Prince Harry is facing the next stage of his legal battle with the Home Office over his security protection. Um, since stepping down as a working member of the royal family in 2020, Prince Harry has fought the British protection services for treating him unfairly. He has previously been denied the automatic right to police protection, a decision which he is appealing. Discussing the absence of the of press coverage of Prince Harry's court hearing, Hodgson said it was interesting that there was nothing on the front pages about the Duke. Hodgson added that you wouldn't know that they, there was anything troubling the royal family in the pictures um, taken from the events. And, you know, we already know this, like, we, this is what happens in the British media. When, like, Harry or Meghan are fighting for something that is utterly true, when they are on the right side, when they are doing things right, they will never be on the front pages. But when rumors sprout, you know, when rumors start saying Harry and Meghan are doing A, B, C, D, you know, Harry and Meghan are the bad guys. Oof, front pages, chop, chop. That's what happens. In defense of Prince Harry, Hodgson stated, I actually think they are Harry and Meghan. Popularity is in the ascendant again. And I think it's a very tricky time for Harry because he has completely lost favor with the British media you know but I keep saying it's not the British media that makes a person popular it's their actions it's who they are it's what they stand for and especially in the times we are living in where we are you know where people you know with the with the rise of internet if a person wants to find news about anyone they're just gonna go anywhere just anywhere in the internet and look for that person so i no longer think it's the media no matter how much they try to you know paint harry and megan as the bad guys that is not what makes them popular because at the end of the day people that really know who harry and megan are people that know who harry and megan are for sure for sure they will always you know always know where to read articles where to read stories and where not to read those stories because you know there are just some publications that have that spilled over them when it comes to harry and megan so whether they have lost favor with the british media or not I don't think it really matters because at the end of the day when you know who harry and megan are you're gonna find you know noble and true stories about you know about them no matter where you are you know it's not like in the past where if you don't have a newspaper <laughs> you're not going to find news you just ha you, you just have to settle for what is in the newspapers you know because you have no way of getting you know any other kind of information 
um they really don't have anything positive or encouraging to say and you know he should have technically got sympathy from being caught and saying that his privacy had been breached and all the rest of it but i just don't think anybody bothered anymore see you know even when a simple human act you know like when you say my privacy has been breached you know it's it's human to expect to extend you know um it's human to extend empathy to extend sympathy you know but they didn't have that they just th turned that story into woo something that is something that you know makes harry and megan seem like the bad guys yet we could see with our own eyes what the truth was but i just don't think anybody bothered anymore host imon holmes asked for um fellow panelists andy jones if he felt sympathy for the successes and was in disagreement with hodgson continuing john said i used to be a little bit on the fence about the royals and the more the british royal family um the ones that have stayed get attacked the more defensive i am my wife's american and we go to america quite a lot and there's natural interest in the royal family i felt like before i'd sort of i roll about it and now i am passionately defending charles i am passionately defending kate and william i am i am amazed at the words coming out of my mouth not just in this show and i feel really fervently proud of them and i wonder why that is anyway everyone is allowed to have their own opinions you know it's it's we call it the cost of freedom the you know that's what we get for you know for choosing freedom at the end of the day like harry and megan <laughs> you know choosing freedom that's you know when you choose to be free you allow everyone else around you to be free and it's okay if this is what they think that you know it's okay to defend um um king charles kids and william if that's how they see things well well and good for them but we know what the truth is right um and this is not just the truth because we love and we adore Harry and megan but it's because it's what is staring right in our eyes we have seen what they have done we have seen in the ways they have you know tried to bring harry and megan down we have seen them you know literally supporting the media to keep doing those similar things we have seen them you know even when harry and megan literally put distances literally continents between them they still find a way to you know bring them and wrap them around all these whole royal drama so i don't know i don't know what more proof we want or more proof they want to see that harry and megan are not the bad guys in this case and you know prince harry is just fighting for what is right and for those who really know um who really know who harry and megan are will not um agree to be swayed by what the british media is allowing them to see because that's what they do they literally choose for you what you will read and the kind of perspective you have to you know you have to have when it comes to harry and mega they don't give you the freedom you know to choose for yourself they're like you know what um prince william is good prince harry is bad you see megan is bad princess kate is good she is a princess you know that is what they just paint for us but if if you are you know you you are work <laughs> you see what rumors are you know you can see when you know the lies are staring for you at you you can see when lies are staring at you in the face you will know that this is you know what they allow you to see um and read is not the truth and you will look for the truth for yourself you know anyway at the end of the day um all the best to harry as you know he fights the um home office for you know taking his um security
unfairly you know and as i said before this this is not just for him it's for his family because at the end of the day his title is always gonna follow him everywhere and chances of him being attacked are very high and we obviously don't want ha what happened to princess diana to happen to him and his family anyway until the next episode bye bye